well, it's just it's interesting to right. see. What if you used 50 Berkeley? Well, I or you could go to a 30 pound Berkeley and you could get rid of those way dots. Same way. If you can't exactly. reach so the you don't fish, you're not going to catch the fish. The fish. Right. So, so I, I use 30 pound caliper. Right. What do you mean when you say you double the caliper? Instead of the one loop, you make it twice. Oh. Yeah, you dump double caliper. So, more so, to, instead of getting everyone confused, I just wanted you guys to see the data, see what's out there read this guy's article, and maybe it'll just give you more insight before you choose a line, make the knot, and he actually has the actual breaking strength. When we talk about lines, we talk about knots. Nobody can actually say, oh, the breaking point is 44 pounds. It's usually, oh, this is what I always get. I don't even know the name of the knot, but it works for me. So I just began to drop the concrete data, and if you have any questions, feel free to stop by, try out some of the knots. Well, even what you're saying to some extent is you not always know what you're really buying, right? Because if you're saying a 50-pound test and it's breaking at 43, well, heck, I want my value. Either way, right. I should at least get 50. Right. I mean, some of the other factors I was thinking about was um, the consistency of the knot tie. You tie it knot one way, the other guy, he might put twists and torque in it differently. Right. It's got to be the same person tying the same knot consistently to really even judge this data correctly. Right. If anything, it proves that we know less than what we really thought, <laughs> and, and more so than what this guy thought. What about, more confused. Yeah. Right. what about the age of the line? What if you want the line is six months after it's been manufactured versus three months after it's manufactured? What happens if they go back and test all this after a thousand casts, after two thousand casts? You know, the, the mysterious power code breaking, maybe after 500 casts, it degrades 50%, where fire line might stand up, you know, for 3,000 casts. I, I found in the past that the uh, spider worm and the uh, fire worm, under a lot of stress uh -huh. and using it an awful lot, would cut through the guides. Right. One of the one of the commercials that Power Pro had was that it would never it was made in such a way that it would never cut through the guides. I've seen guys lose big fish when their lines would part, right. and then when they would stop the cast again, and the line would tighten up on them. You look at the tip of the stainless steel guide, and they cheese. It's 30 seconds of an inch groove. Yeah, sure. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I use the power pro. Well, that's why um, you know companies like Fuji are making safe guides now. They're seeing that they're going to last forever. They're ultra light and super tough. Uh, they have the whole new concept concept guide placement, which is going to make more guides available across the pole, which keeps the line tighter so you don't have to worry about your roof problems. And it's going to allow you to use that line and not create those groups. That's a response you, to the brains. Right? Have you personally heard of that problem with the fire line and the spider wire? The, the grooves? The grooves? Yeah. The old style guides? Oh, right. yes, definitely. Well, the spider wire is Teflon coated. Teflon coated. Yeah, some of the other factors, um, uh, out of all this data, they're concentrating on the means uh, and averages. I, I don't want to know the means and the averages. I want to know the lowest point. What about the variables, the extremes? If he's getting, you know, 34.7 in this reading right here, well, maybe he, he tested five times and broke first at 17 and the other was 50-something. Well, I want to go by the 17 figure. I don't want to go by this. But it's interesting, you know, he put all this data together, he used the machine, he tested everything five times, and this is what he got. You, know, you can use it to your advantage, use it. These across the top, I think, are pretty interesting. Out of the 20 pound braids, I think the lowest one was the suffix at 23. Everything else is over 30, 54, 51. It's just, it's incredible data. Suffix, performance braid. High vis yellow versus high vis green. The high vis yellow broke at 31.7, the low vis green at 23.4, <laughs> just by the color of the line. Does that make sense, Daddy? Well, you know what? As a consumer, just like anything else you purchase, you're going to want to know it. Most people are going to gravitate towards the green, because we all know the low vis green you can't see as well in our dark green water. Well, you're going to lose seven pounds right there. Over almost eight pounds. Same thing with the uh, crystal fire line. I thought this was the new fire line. It's going to be great. Well, it breaks less from 54.5 of the regular black smoke uh, or, you know, the flow green. 
At 54.5, the, the new crystal is 47.1. Well, when you do the math, you really start looking at this, you find out that the Bimini is 99% stronger, and the Berkeley Regular is 80%. Well, if you look at the means, that's 43% on the old line, and it's more like 47 on the new line. It almost kept 100% on the Bimini. Well, that's interesting because it tied a better knot. It broke it up higher, even though its, it's tensile strength is lower, the knot strength became higher. And maybe that's what they focused on. That's, they did right focus on that exactly right. So, I really start studying this. Can you just give it a couple of nights to bed, you know, if you sit in your bed, you know, just, yeah, my mind about fishing. <laughs> you might put something together, and it might be a cure for insomnia. You try a different line. And it's the best in reality, you spend a lot of money on this stuff. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I want my money yeah, value. Something. And what's more interesting, I think, is that I can concentrate on those specific nuts. Well, I didn't pull you in yet, but here's your power probe. And I went right to that, you know, uh, Alamar. And the Palomar didn't test the test. It was the unit. Followed by the improved clinch. Palomar was third. So how many of you guys are signing the Palomar with your 50 power probe? Unit's first, improved clinch is second. Then your Palomar on truth strength. So there's a lot of information here. You could lose your mind. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy yet. But uh, I'm getting there. Eric, you have a question?